Welcome to Kanab, Utah, such a beautiful part of the country, centrally located between Bryce National Park, Zion National Park, and the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. It also happens to be home to the largest animal sanctuary in the United States. The drive alone to Best Friends is really something special. Kanab is located just across the Arizona-Utah border, and it's often called Little Hollywood because of the more than 30 films and television series that were shot here, many of them spaghetti westerns like The Outlaw Josie Wales with Clint Eastwood, Maverick with James Garner, even the television series, the original television series, The Lone Ranger. Well, here we are. Welcome to Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah. In my opinion, one of the most special places on the planet, certainly in our country. I'll give you a brief history and then I'll share more facts as the video goes on. But uh, over 35 years ago, a group of friends, best friends, got together and made a promise to one another. They were really, really affected by the fact that at the time, in the mid 80s, there were 17 million dogs and cats that were being put down in our country's animal shelters every single year. 17 million. So they pooled all of their resources, what little they had, and they purchased this land here in Kanab. Now at the time, it was completely undeveloped. There was nothing here, no running water, no electricity, no housing. They changed all that. I'll tell you about that as we tour the sanctuary but they wanted to create a safe space for the animals, a shelter where they could live out their lives comfortably, peacefully. They also wanted to create a place where people could come and rescue animals, give them loving homes, and they have made an impact. I think at last count, that number 17 million was down to 355,000 animals that are killed in our shelters every year, still far too many, but quite a decrease, I think you'll agree. So uh, as we tour Best Friends Animal Sanctuary, I hope you'll find it in your heart to support their cause, to support their mission of creating a world where there are no more homeless pets, where no more animals are killed in shelters. And uh, I think you're gonna fall in love. You're gonna fall in love with the good folks and with the mission and with the big heart that is that group of friends. Welcome to Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. All right, just parked and uh, walking up to the Welcome Center. And uh, as you can see, we are right in the middle of these mountains. This is just wonderful. Tours are free and they have cabins, which I will show you a little bit later on. Cabins where you can stay the night and you can volunteer here, help the animals or you can just come in for one of the tours. Of course, you need to call and arrange that in advance. But uh, we're gonna meet Chrissy, our tour guide, and begin to show you around. We'll head inside the Welcome Center here, always greeted with a smile. And right over there is the gift shop. Oh, wait a minute, guinea pigs. Oh, I love guinea pigs. Uh, the gift shop is really something. Hoodies, t-shirts, keychains, the book, which is the story of best friends is really incredible. So stock up because everything you buy benefits the animals, right? And most of the folks working here are volunteers. You know, the tours here are spectacular, especially when you have someone like Chrissy who's gonna be showing us around. Chrissy, can you tell us what we're gonna be seeing today? We are gonna be seeing all kinds of domestic animals. We are gonna see some pigs. We are going to see some horses, some dogs and cats. And we may throw in maybe a little sprinkle of bunnies in there. Wow. So we're I, gonna see what's gonna happen. Is there a general number of how many animals are on the sanctuary right now? Normal for us is about 1,400 animals. 14, and how many acres is the sanctuary? 6,000 acres and we leave another 30,000 from the Bureau of Land Management. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. This is Petunia Pig. Of course it is. Yeah, baby. Oh, 
Spencer here's the big boy. He's huh? the big pig. He's he's the boss in these here parts. Hello, boss man. He was found as a stray out in Colorado City. Go back. He what are you doing? Their bedtime is 4.30 sharp, and they can go in these little cottages, which are heated in the wintertime and cooled in the summer. Not a bad, not a bad spread here. Yeah, I see it. And Air conditioning unit ball. right up there. <laughs> Let's head over and see some of those goats. So Gazelle thinks she's like a puppy. She doesn't like him. Um, <laughs> You know, we do butt scratches. They can actually feel the scratching on their horns. Oh, I so didn't know that. yeah. I thought it was just like a big thick finger. No, nail. that's pumpkin spice right there climbing into his feet bowl. Well, you do love to be scratched like she a dog. Just... There are certainly ways other than just writing a check to show your support for best friends. You can adopt your next pet from a shelter or rescue rather than buying one. You can foster, volunteer. Encourage your local animal welfare groups to become Best Friends Network partners. A lot of ways. This is Horse Haven. And over the course of the past couple of years, it has seen some major upgrades. Now, the building you see right over there, the Brown Building, is new. It opened in March of 2020, right when the pandemic hit. That is the brand new large animal clinic. And it has state-of-the-art operating facilities for horses and other large animals here at the sanctuary. You can see this is just a fraction of where the horses are cared for. And right over here, again, I hate to use the term state-of-the-art too much, but there's no better description of the equestrian center where they can train the horses and work with the horses. And those fans that you see right up there, believe it or not, the technical term for those fans is big ass fans. Now this is interesting. If you look at the dirt, and I'm gonna zoom in for you, those particles that you see are ground up soles from sneakers and it softens and cushions the sand for the horses when they are trotting or cantering. And just the perfect example of the links Best Friends goes to to give these animals the best care possible. There are also a couple of donkeys here right now, a couple of mules and those three foals. There's one, here's another one, and the third one's trotting around here somewhere. They are the first three ever to be foaled here at Best Friends and about 20 of the horses that you see here were rescued from a very abusive and neglectful situation and brought here. Those days are long behind them. This barn that you see right there, they call it the Disney barn here at Best Friends because that barn was used in the 1973 movie, One Little Indian, which starred James Garner and a 10 year old Jodie Foster. Let me get closer to that for you. But if you've seen that movie or if you just Google One Little Indian, you will certainly recognize that side, that wall of the barn. And these horses, they could not care less about Hollywood trivia. Taking you now to Angel's Rest here at the sanctuary, probably one of the most serene places you could ever visit. And by the way, that artwork on the gate was created by Cyrus, one of the founders of Best Friends. And this is much more than just a final resting place for pets. This is a place that represents the everlasting bond that we have with our animals. And many people choose to honor their dogs and cats with stones or with wind chimes which are all set to the key of d so when there is a little breeze blowing and there isn't one today but when there is it is such a beautiful sound don't weep for me do not stand at my grave and weep i am not there i do not sleep i am a thousand winds that blow i am the diamond glints on snow 
I'm the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft star that shines at night. Do not stand by my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Wow. Angel's Rest is open to the public, by the way. So if you have an animal that is laid to rest here, you can certainly come visit, bring a little something to set atop the grave. Very special. All right. Want to go see some bunnies? And this is our youngest okay. area for volunteering. I believe it is nine years old to volunteer in bunnies. Oh. And you were saying the sign here is made of bunny, bunny poop. poop. And how how much bunny poop do you get? You call them cocoa puffs. I call them cocoa puffs. <laughs> Two to three hundred a day per bunny. So we have plenty to make signs. With. It makes really good compost. It works for your garden, or so they tell us to take it. This, hello. They are like little dogs. They are so cute. Look at you. Oh my god. And you're in the litter box. I'll give you your privacy. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Also bunny poop. Bunnies are very adoptable. They make great pets, but please do keep in mind, if you adopt one, you're going to have to adopt its friend. They are very social and they are only adoptable in pairs. And let's face it, who doesn't want to have enough Cocoa Puffs to make your own signs at home, right? The volunteers here with the bunnies have been telling me it has been a very good year for bunny adoptions. And our final stop is just down the road. We're going to see some of the most adoptable puppies and kitties. As of the day of my visit, there are 263 dogs available for adoption here at the sanctuary, 383 kitties. And as you enjoy the video, keep in mind that there are still about a thousand dogs and cats that are put down in shelters every day just because they don't have a safe place to call home. But Best Friends is making them this promise. They will make the country no kill by the year 2025. The clock is ticking. It's gonna take a lot of work. It has taken a lot of work, but it can be done. Oh man, here come the kitties. This guy here, total flirt. He knows the adoption game. Just a reminder, you don't have to come all the way to Utah to adopt a dog or cat. You can go to the website. Oh, yes. You can go to the website and find a no-kill shelter near you. Now, if you've been watching this channel for quite a while, you know that many videos end with me getting a tattoo. Well, this one's a little different. This particular video ends with me and my family adopting a kitty. This guy. Say hello to Big Dude Newton. He's already added so much to our lives. Hey, I hope you get the opportunity to visit the sanctuary. A big thank you to Chrissy and Liz, everyone at Best Friends, for all that you do. Thanks to you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and remember this, together we can save them all.